Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everyone's well today. We're here for the weekend top and bottom reading. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. For those of you who are new, this is how we do this. I do this by the elements. It's still Aries season, so fire signs go first. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Then we move into Earth, Air, Water. I'll call the signs out as we start. I take off the top and the bottom of the deck. I only clarify if I have to. I try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. Just because I don't want to put anybody to sleep. And it's just a sneak peek at what might be, you know, coming in this weekend. We go over a little bit of the past, a little bit of the present, and a little bit of the future. I try to focus more on what's coming in, because that's why you're here. You already know what happened, and you know what's going on right now, if this resonates with you. So, and I do it by the elements because the three zodiac designs of the different elements often share energies. They're a lot alike, but they're drastically different in ways too. But there's still a lot of light. All right, I think I got enough fire sign energy into the witch's tarot. Top of the deck for Aries, Sag, Leo, the world. Bottom of the deck, the shadow side. The cycle is coming to a close. You're disconnecting from something that was potentially toxic, possibly something you were obsessed with. The cycle is coming to a close, though. past. High Priestess, Upright, Sun Reversed. There was a definite connection here. Soulmate, 5D connection. There was secrets, though. You could have been dealing with another Leo. There's Taurus and Capricorn here as well. There was lies, and I don't think you were too happy about it. The sun wasn't shining. What's going on in the here and now? Seven pentacles reversed in the moon. Impatience. more possible lies and deception. You may be in a smoke and mirrors point. You're sick of the lies. I'm going to throw some clarifiers on this. What's going on this weekend? Top, bottom, Seven of Cups upright, Five of Cups reversed. Weighing of options. Trying to come out of a state of sadness. Pulling yourself out of it, that's awesome. The cycle is coming to a close. You're disconnecting. Throw a clarifier. Can I get a clarifier on the High Priestess, please? Thanks. High Priest, well. Yeah, this was a connection. Soulmate. Life lesson connection. Wow. Okay. Why is the sun card reversed here? Chariot. Disconnected because someone was pulled in two different directions. Someone may have had to move. The chariot can indicate physical or emotional distance.
This may have been a divorce. Or an engagement. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here for fire signs? The Empress popped out. Mm hmm. Someone's running out of patience. They wanted the enchilada. They wanted the family. And it had a potential to be that way. It still does. Why is the moon card here? What's what's up with the secrets? What's up with the secrets? Wheel of Fortune reversed, unfinished business. The secrets are involving someone's unfinished business. That may be why the disconnect happened. That may be why the distance had to happen. Someone's being pulled in two different directions. Well, coming up this weekend, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Tower. Things may come to a head this weekend. Someone's going to be weighing options. Things are going to shake up. Shake up in a big way. Someone may decide to close this out and disconnect from it altogether. Conclusion, Five of Cups reversed, coming out of a state of sadness. Hanged man accepting it. <laughs> Acceptance of the situation the way it is. It is what it is. Gaining perspective. Can't change it. Alright. Top. Bottom. Oof. Top. Bottom. Okay. This is gorgeous. It's a matched pair. It's also a huge indicator of me of mutual love and respect. There's a great deal of love and respect here. You were probably engaged. You wanted a family together. But somebody left something hanging out somewhere. Somebody has things they have to deal with, and somebody sometimes you got to love somebody enough to let them go. You have to have that mutual, equal love and respect. And the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Try not to have a crappy attitude about it. If someone's cup is not being filled, someone's cup isn't being filled. And don't fill your cups with negative things either. Try to avoid toxic situations and addictions and things of that nature. If it all comes crashing down, it all comes crashing down. Sometimes it be that way, fire signs. And sometimes when the tower comes crashing down, it's an indicator that it needed to. If the tower came crashing down, or is going to crash down, it wasn't stable. Things are not always as they appear. As the High Priestess and the Moon card both indicate. They're secrets. And sometimes, you gotta let people go. You gotta put that distance there. You gotta close the cycle out. Who's to say the cycle isn't gonna come back around sometime? All right, fire signs. <sighs> Gotta love them enough to let them go. I know it's hard. I know it sucks. But it is what it is. Except into the situation. Earth signs. I got a time check here. Okay. Lovers reverse popped out, by the way. All right. One, 
Paris Virgo Capricorn, two. We're calling it. Top. Bottom. Lovers reverse. There it is again. Somebody is no longer waiting because somebody is avoiding a connection. Somebody's ignoring it. And somebody's saying enough is enough and walking away. Top, bottom. King of Swords reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. Things are not moving forward as they should be, and somebody has a terrible attitude about it. Somebody may be getting a little bit too emotional about it, not being logical. Well, that happened in the past. Top, bottom. What's going on right now? Sun in the reverse, Princess of Wands in the upright. There's a lack of happiness. A connection is disconnecting. We knew this. Someone is moving forward without the other. Quickly. It's going to happen this weekend. Strength reversed. Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody's going to come to the conclusion that, you know, this is just too draining. You're being a little emotional. I'm not talking to you right now. Cut off in communication. Somebody is walking away. Could be you. Could be the person you're dealing with. Or signs. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not living it. I'm just reading the cards. I don't even know if i got to clarify this. Devil reverse popped out. Disconnection. Someone in this situation may be getting a little bit obsessive. Four of swords reverse. Someone's getting restless. Okay. Wow, gang. That's all the clarity this spread's going to get right there, without intention on any of the cards. Top and bottom. This spoke for itself. It's pretty awesome. What you going to do? Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Work on you. Do what you do. I'm glad these popped up for Earth signs. Focus on what you need to focus on right now. Focus on the goal. Focus on the dream. Focus on getting your crap back together. Getting money in the bank. Paying your bills. Doing what you need to do. Hanged man in the reverse in the Ace of Cups. Try not to get all hung up on this. And sometimes it is just best to walk away. Sometimes you need to. Maybe if you walk away, they want to come back and play later. Maybe that long walk taught him a lesson. Because if you're walking, what are they doing? I don't think they're just going to stand there. Your paths just split off. If you meet up again later, they want to come back in. They want to play how they're supposed to play. Not get all obsessive and weird and emotional. Not ignore the importance of the connection. Not be so draining. Okay, then. 
It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Air signs. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Top, full reverse, bottom, death. Someone is perhaps being a little childish. There's possibly like trust. Things have changed. The death card ind indicates change. Not sudden and abrupt. A little slower. Like you saw it coming. Like that caterpillar was getting real, real chubby. The death card indicates change in metamorphosis on a spiritual level. What happened? Six of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Things were not equal. Things were not balanced. Someone was perhaps a little bit needy, a little bit codependent. What's going on right now? Two of Swords reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. A difficult decision needs to be made. Someone's cups are not being filled. Someone is not happy. Or someone is filling their cups with the wrong things. What's coming? Ace of Pentacles? The tower reversed. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Way too many! Let's try that again. Oh my gosh, Eight of Swords reversed. What went flying? Flew right off the table. Ten of Cups reversed. The happy ending didn't end so happily. Things weren't balanced. I don't think you put much thought into it, though. But somebody didn't. Meh. Meh. Why is Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Wands reversed. Someone became burdensome, clingy, needy, codependent. Wow, this is like I want you, I don't want you.
lack of trust. Lack of trust and change. Why is Two of Swords reversed here? I think they were needing codependent because they didn't trust you. Three of Cups reversed. Oh boy. Difficult decision to disconnect. Air signs, your cups are upside down. I don't like it when cups are upside down. But something definitely needs to change in this relationship. This is definitely a change is necessary scenario. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Thanks. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody enjoys shiny things. Somebody in this scenario has oh shiny syndrome. And I think somebody was spending some money. Somebody was putting band-aids on this. I think somebody is making the difficult decision to no longer put band-aids on it. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? For what's coming in. The world. Okay. Something will be closing out for new abundance to come in. Take this however it resonates. Change has to happen. This could be a do-over for some of you. This could be an ending and a new beginning elsewhere. But with this tower reversed as the outcome, I'm thinking this is screaming do-over. This is screaming the rebuilding of a tower. Can I get a clarifier on the tower reverse, please? Queen of Cups. I love you. I miss you. I want you back. Let's start over. One more on that. Knight of Cups reversed. It's not going to be just words. The Knight of Cups flies in with his cup and flies right back out again. The Knight of Cups in the reverse, it's not just words. They could well, may well, really want to rebuild. And you need to make the decision if you want to come back together or not. What's your advice? Top, bottom. The Hermit and the High Priest reversed. Think about it. Do some serious introspection here.
You need to really think about if they're legit. Hairfint and the Wheel of Fortune. Think about it. Do not make an ego based decision. If you're the, you're the one feeding the other one's ego, think about it. If you're the one having your ego fed, think about it. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune both in the upright. There's a definite soulmate connection here. This, But this was meant to teach you something. This could very well have been karmic. Let's throw one more on that. Five of Wands and the King of Wands. Do not move forward too quickly before you put a lot of thought into this because it could end up just being confrontation and you could just end up in the same cycle again. Something has to give, something has to change. I'm not saying once you can't trust somebody, you can never trust them. That's not what I'm saying. But if you could not trust them before, think about it real hard. Okay? All right. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Real quick, and then I got to get dressed and fly to my bread and butter job. Queen of Wands, strength reversed. Someone's fire and passion may be a little bit draining, water signs. What happened? Page of Cups and the King of Swords. There's feelings there, there's messages. But someone's being logical, someone's making non emotional decisions. Okay. Here and now, top, bottom. Cherry in reverse, King of Wands reverse. There may be a return that's kind of slowing things down a little bit. Not necessarily. Or things are at a dead stop. I'm thinking things may be at a dead stop right now. Oop. I dropped it. Hold on. We'll shuffle it back in. I'm not even going to tell you what it was. Do I? It was at the bottom. It fell off the bottom. Empress reversed. Nine of Cups. Okay. There's potential for happiness. And there's potential for growth. And it might be coming in this weekend. Someone may, may want or need their cups filled this weekend. But it's a little much, and it's a little draining. All right, let's get some clarity. Why is the chair right reverse chair? Temperance in the Knight of Cups. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Here. 
though things are at a dead stop, someone's trying to keep it flowing. Someone's keeping the messages coming in. But the chariot's at a halt. These are both fire sign cards, by the way. Someone's trying to feed it. Why is the King of Wands here? Full reversed. Oh, come on. That was way too many. Things are at a dead stop. There's a lack of trust. Someone's tower may be a little bit shaky. I'm ignoring that. Someone's unsure. Things are at a dead stop because some, yes, yeah, someone is feeding it. Someone's still unsure. Oh, come on. I dropped that. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here for what's going to happen this weekend? Knight of Wands. What are wands flying out here? What a sign. You could well be dealing with fire sign. Mm. Judgment reversed. Eight of Wands, communication coming in, fast communication coming in very quickly, possibly very unexpectedly. Why is judgment reversed on the table? Thank you. Justice reversed. Someone may communicate how they feel. That things just aren't balanced right now. Maybe somebody need, feels like they need to come back into balance. Maybe they're a little drained. Maybe things are happening a little too quickly. And that, commun that conversation may well happen this weekend. Why is the Empress here for the outcome? Why is the Empress here for the outcome? Why is the Empress here for the outcome? Thanks, I got two. Hmm. Queen of Swords reversed. Swords and Emperor. Hmm. Someone might not be too thrilled about the outcome. Someone might get a little bit sharp tongued. Or want to. But with the Five of Swords, um, they may curb it. <laughs> it's like, okay, this has potential. <sighs> this conversation, it may turn into a spat. But I think pieces are going to be picked up as long as positive attitudes are maintained and somebody curbs their tongue. Fire signs have a tendency to be very quick-tongued if you are dealing with fire sign, which there's a lot of fire on this table right now. I think you very well could be. So water signs, you may have to like bust the fire hose and out and just douse that crap. Be like, listen, hold the phone. I'm not so sure about this. You're being a little much right now and you're draining the crap out of me. Have the conversation. Have the conversation. Be the clear-headed one. You've maintained a clear head the whole time. 
throw one more on that. Thanks. Six of Cups. I see you making happy memories together. I see this going somewhere. I think you guys have been hanging out lifetime after lifetime. This could be someone you've known since childhood. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Top and bottom for the advice. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Slow down. Maintain a good pace. Work on it. Top and bottom. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Don't try to control the timing on this. Don't try to conduct the timing on this. You do not have control over the timing on this. Slow it down. Don't get impatient. Work on it. One more. Top. Bottom. Three of Pentacles. Upright. Ace of Cups reversed. Lay the foundation. If you don't lay a steady, stable foundation on this, the damn cup's going to tip over. It's not going to go anywhere. This has the potential to go somewhere beautiful. But you got to lay the foundation. You're doing the right thing, Water Signs. You're doing the right thing. Keep a level head. Have the conversation. It is what it is, and if they don't like it, well, if you desire something stable and they just want to rip and, rip and roar and tear into it, are you on the same page? No. That's just my opinion. All right, gang, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for coming by. I have to go get ready for my bread and butter job, so take care, and... Um, probably roll out three or four more readings over the weekend. Try, I'm going to try to finish the cycle. I'll at least try to get three or four more done and try to finish the cycle. But anyway, if I haven't read your sign yet for the second half of April, I will catch you guys Sunday night or Monday morning for the work week top and bottom. Take care. Catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Be blessed. Love you to bits.